I mean, we played together so much in so many configurations without making a nickel, you know. And by that point, this was in the 70s, Dickinson had, had become a producer. He had produced, you know, some stuff on a lot of people. He had started working over at Ardent uh, Studios on National, along with a lot of, you know, several other people. And I was singing over there and had a record out with, with uh, on Enterprise for, for the Stax label. And, and uh, uh, so he was well established as a producer and so he just you know he said well gosh we just need to you know get together and do this and make some money off of it and he got us a little development deal with warner brothers you know and we went and blew it <laughs> our only time in the studio it was not the best of best uh, studio experience i think everybody had but uh by that time we had tommy mcclure was playing bass and and he had been with Jim down at Criterion in Miami with the Dixie Flyers, you know. Tarp Tarrant, uh, uh, who was uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis's former drummer. Uh, these, the, this was the first configuration of, of Mudboy and the Neutrons. And we would actually paint up. This was prior to Kiss, prior to anybody. And I, and I remember, because I'd been studying great apes and, and, and monkeys as, as part of my anthropological studies, and I thought the coolest thing was the face of a mandrel baboon. So I would paint up in blue and red. It's just like bright and almost, you know, really bright blue and these red stripes down here. And we had to do this every time. I had, I had an outback outside of my house, and we'd come over to my outback, and everybody would paint up, and then we'd get in the cars and ride off to this gig. And uh, I can remember Tommy McClure, he didn't want to paint up. And he said, oh, we're going to have to paint up. I said, I'll just put a red dot in the middle of your forehead like the Indians do, you know. And he, he, he would do that. And, and then we would go out and play at the Shell or play you know, all these strange places and have dancers flying around. It was, it was one of the things I love about Jim Dickinson is it's always more than, than the music to him. It is the show. You know, and, and it is a, a, a larger experience. Uh, uh, basically, I just get up on the stage and sing, you know.